Welcome back to the Rock and Chuck Rugby Channel. Um, the last few days, maybe a week or so, um, Rock and I have been missing. You know, um, I think we were just sort of reflecting on uh, the box loss, and we didn't want to be too emotional in our post match analysis. So yeah, here we are. Welcome, uh, welcome, Rock. Uh, how are you? How are you feeling? Are you? How are you doing? Hi, Chuck. Um, not feeling too well, to be honest. I said some things. I had a full prediction that the Springboks will beat Ireland. We, by 15 we said points. some things. We, <laughs> yeah, and I have to apologize to the Irish. They played very well, <clears throat> but I still think that I'm a bit of a conspiracy theorist. I think we, 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 we'll, we'll come it. back. We'll come back to the to the main chunk of the pie. I think. Um, because yeah, that that was a a bitter pull to swallow on on the on the box um, side, but yeah, I think I think we should just um go over the games that passed in that weekend. I think um they were, you know, that's that that obviously was the biggest game of the weekend. But obviously, uh, we we like to treat all teams fairly and equally. So yeah, so I'm just gonna run through the the fixtures that passed on that weekend. So Italy played Uruguay, and it was thirty eight seventeen. Uh, France, Namibia, 96-0. Argentina, Samoa, 19-10 to Argentina. Georgia, Portugal, which was 18 all. England, Chile, 71-0 to England. Um, Scotland, Tonga, 45-17. Wales, Australia, 46. And then, obviously, the, the big one there, the weekend was 13-8 to Ireland. So, uh, what do you think about that weekend? Um, besides the South Africa Island, what do you think about the other games that were I, played? Yeah, I mean, Georgia Portugal, what a game! I was yeah. rooting. I was rooting for Portugal. I thought those guys should have buried Georgia at the end. They were struggling in the beginning of the game, but they they could have won, and I and I think it's good for Portugal rugby. Yeah, definitely. Because yeah. I, I thought Georgia would have won that comfortably, but you know the Portuguese really showed fight in that game, and I think if I'm not mistaken, they could have won it at the end, or at the end there was a kick. I can't remember exactly. I think it was Georgia's kick or Portugal's kick, but there was Portugal a kick. Had a kick. The, Portugal had a kick. Yeah, they had a kick at the death, and you know if they got that over, it would have been just as great as them beating the USA to get into this World Cup. Because that was a kick at the end exactly. as well. So, yeah, but then exactly. let's let's look at France because there's a big talking point out of that game that we need to cover. You know, a certain someone, um, a certain poster boy, I should say, took a knock to the face. Right. Yeah, yeah. The point. Antoine the point. Out. I felt. I felt actually quite sorry for him. I I thought that. The all my respect to Namibia and rugby, but that was quite a hectic challenge. <laughs> Head first on onto his jaw with flipping a lot of speed, and yeah. I just thought, shame the poor guy, already carrying the whole France team now. Yeah, I, now I need to I do think, it with a um, broken jaw. Yeah, I think um, Daisel was it the the captain, was it is mm. it Daisel? Yeah, I think he probably has a few South African mates, and they were like, listen, can you just do the boys a favor, maybe, and. Uh, he probably studied here in South Africa as well. So <laughs> sort of has a dog in the probably. fight. He's like just rough up DuPont. Um okay, Italy, Europe. Uh, mm, would you want to yeah. say something else on, on Namibia? I mean France Namibia. I was just yeah, France France played well. Right? They were really sharp. Ninety six points is a lot to to put on against any team. And so France yeah, but be losing team. your poster boy. You know, allegedly the best player in the world, as uh, Mr. Dubois said a few weeks ago. Um, to have but he's him. making a comeback now, eh? Is it? Yeah, I, I hear he's he's going to be wearing a mask, which is... Yeah. I don't know how much protection a mask can really provide when your bones are broken, but... Yeah, yeah. just uh, good luck to him, because I know I, I wouldn't want to play with... A broken bone anywhere in my body, you know, even if it's my face. 
And yeah, yeah, I just hope he doesn't go into contact, I guess. that Because I'm sure going into contact, your face is not always left untouched, you know. So yeah, all the best to him. Uh, yeah, so Italy, Uruguay, anything to say there? You know, the Uruguayans sort of put a bit of a yeah. fight. A bit of a fight, but uh, I, I felt that I felt Italy played very well. Uruguay did score some two excellent tries, but other than that, there wasn't really much to the game. Yeah, I except... expected uh, Italy win there, so yeah, all good. Argentina, Samoa, that Argentina, yeah, they a uh, weight of expectation, eh? They're not really putting away teams as we thought they might put away teams. They yeah. are. I actually thought there for a while that Samoa could win. And Argentina and Japan could be a contender. Yeah. Uh, we, we'll, we'll talk about that uh, that game uh, that's coming up. Uh, I think that's the last pool game. Um, England, Chile, a routine win for England, I think. Chile didn't really have a chance going into that. Scotland, Tonga, another another one we can say we expected. It's just how many points um, could Scotland get, you know, to add, add that to their tally because, you know, they're in quite a hectic group. Wales, Australia. This was one I didn't see. I don't know about you. 46 to Wales. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if you want to say anything to that because I know Eddie probably has a lot to say about it or had a lot to say about it. You know, he's planning for the yeah. next World Cup, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's horrible. The poor guy. The poor Australians not being... I mean, Michael Hooper, Kwai Cooper not being picked. Yeah, Hooper, it's Cooper. Stories... Come on, you can't not... He's... Yeah, okay. and the guy apparently is already applying, you know, for other jobs while they were playing. It's just oh, yeah. can't do that as the head coach, you know. So you no, know, the guys are the same. Eddie Jones' head is on the stick there, but you have to commend the way Wales the Wales played. You know, they weren't even there wasn't a moment you thought they weren't dominating, and they were tactically brilliant. So mm. I think Wales is Wales is a contender to win or at least push for the World Cup. Uh, the thing with Wales, personally, I think they blow hot and cold. They can be really good or they can be really bad. And we saw that, especially last year when Georgia played them and beat them. I know that you say second string or whatever team. A win is a win regardless. If the, if the Springboks put out their second team against Romania and Romania managed to somehow win the game, you know, people have been like, you know, it's, uh, it's, South exactly. Africa. it's, it's still... So, yeah... Wales, yeah, they, they're looking good at the moment. And Australia, uh, unfortunately, not. And now we get to talk about the the South Africa Island game and the Irish taking a 13-8. So do you want me to start off on this or do you want to start off I think, on this game? I think there's a few things that we need to speak about. One, how Damien Delaney balanced Johnny Sexton. Yes, so. But what about Ringrose? Big... Was Ringrose... What about Ringrose? He also bounced Ringrose. Ringrose had to go for an HIA. You remember the, the, oh, really? the, direct, the direct hit on, like he was running and then Ringrose went for a tackle and then he just sat him down. Yes, I Do you don't remember what that? Boy here. What boy here. No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, what he's not both like Bundy Aki, but he definitely can deliver like him. So, <laughs> yeah, the one Bundy Aki breakthrough that was weird for me. It's like, some, like, how do you just like that never happens in South slip African tackles. defense? So that's slip tackle, slip tackle, yeah, from Moni, I think. Um, yeah. but I think overall, we need to say something about the Irish team and their defense. And I, I saw something very similar in the 2019 build up where South Africa played a certain way and a certain style, and then right on the World Cup final, they changed it we up. Changed. Yeah, I remember and, that. And, you know, there's a few things that happened in that game. Like, one, Peter Steph to Toya throwing away the ball like close to the try line. That never happens. 
it's a bit Jesse being Creel. picked up. Jesse Creel Jesse... offload to Jesse... Khaleesi. What? Just go I mean, yeah. take a rock. You know, he's CEO was probably gonna come for the clean instead of the, the offload pass to him. So I exactly. just take the ball sometimes, you know. <clears throat> no, exactly. So I think what I think, honestly, I was like, I think this these guys were like, listen, we're gonna play well, but we're gonna let these go to win. We're we don't need to win this to... game. <laughs> exactly. I I I say I say, I say no, Chuck. This is really the plan. How Rossi and Jacques had it all along. Yeah. Yeah. But so can I just tell you my two cents on on the game? I just want to ask you a few questions, yeah. right? Against New Zealand, what was our split? Seven one, eh? Seven one. What was our split against Ireland? Seven one. Yeah. What did we Seven, do one. in the well, yeah? What did we do in the game against New Zealand in those first twenty minutes? What did we do? We, what is the game plan? Oh, we were like, we were like in their half the whole time. What did we do? We weren't just in their half playing. More, um, I don't know. Rocks. We didn't what kick. are we doing? We went for the corner, you know, against New Zealand. So, I thought, you know, if seven one, right, you've got a big bench. Just let's just get their balls to the corner. And get us get us some lineouts, you know, because we saw. Come on, Ireland couldn't win a win a lineout to save their life in that in that first half, especially, right? We were winning their lineouts, and they yeah they they were not functioning well. So if we put them under additional pressure in that first half, going for the corner, I'm pretty sure you know they would probably had a few yellow cards. One, if not, you're right. A few, and. We could have probably pounced on that, and it was a wasted opportunity because, even though they also had penalties, they also decided, you know what, let's change up, let's go for the corner, let's not take the points because they backed themselves, and I don't think we backed ourselves. Although, although you can say, yeah, no, but Rossi backed Marnie, but come on, you back your pack. You, we know we've got one of, if not the best packs in the world when it comes to yeah. pushing tries over. So I was like, why yeah, not use that? Yeah, it's a good point. But I do that's that's why the conspiracy still stands. He was he was training Marnie to be able to handle the pressure when he kicks in the final. Yeah, he was like, listen, but, Marnie, just miss the kicks like <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> exactly. But Chuck, the seven one split. It didn't pay dividends to the sun. We the scrums were actually quite bleak, if I have to be honest. Hmm. I'm, maybe it was, as you said, us. maybe it's just a co- conspiracy. Maybe we were just checking and giving the boys keeping a rotation, the... you know, a bit of uh, mm. high, high intensity, yeah. high pressure game uh, rotation. <laughs> Could be. Could very well be. Yeah. Could very well be. Yeah, so I don't know if you have anything else on that South Africa no. Springbok uh, uh, game because we left 11, 11 points on the field. Um. On another day, we'll win that at least um, 19, 13, you know, if all those kicks go over. And yeah, but wasn't to be, you know, we were bad on the day and Ireland weren't bad on the day. So I guess that's, 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 that's what uh, decides these tight games, you know. So yeah, um, I think that's all for that week. Are you ready to move on to the wrapping up these pool stages? Um, this was the second to last game week. And yeah, Uruguay versus Namibia. Yo, that was 36-26. And yeah, okay, let me just read through and we'll come back to it. Because yeah, Japan 28-22. New Zealand 96-17 against Italy. What a game. Argentina, Chile 58 uh, 59 to Argentina, Fiji, Georgia, 17-12 to Fiji, Scotland, Romania, 84-0 to Scotland, Australia, Portugal, 34-14 to Australia, South Africa, Tonga, 48-49-18 to South Africa. So Uruguay, Namibia, Namibia were winning the game, and yeah, second half, they... I don't know, for lack of a better thing, they blew it. 
Because I thought they were going to win that. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was really, really, really close. Um, they had in the bag. And they just couldn't pull through, eh? Really disappointing. I thought they were going to get their first World Cup win. And yeah, yeah. unfortunately, they didn't. Japan Samoa. This was a bit of a tight one. 28-22. I don't know if you saw it. So it, the, I I did see it and I thought that's the moment. That's the moment Japan needed to really be a contender. Because they're going to go in with the next game with that mentality, fighting hard battles and coming up and that does so good for your team confidence and your ability to dig out something from difficult situations. Yeah. I'm really. I don't know what you think about the about the game itself. Do you think they deserved it, Chuck? I mean, I'd say yeah, they deserved it. Eh? They they showed fight at the end, and we all know that Samoa are quite a physically dominant team. So to come over against them, you know, you really need to put in a shift, especially at that breakdown, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to get over. So yeah, well done to Japan, and then. The one that surprised me um really is New Zealand Italy 9617. I didn't I didn't see that as a 9617 game. I don't know about you but that yeah mm. wow. It's really like New Zealand just switched. They turned it up. I think it's mm. because they got back some players but also I think they are now they're ready. They had a, a team chat. But yeah. how clinical they were in that game was actually quite was exceptional. Yeah, no, they were fantastic. I think it's going to be a South African New Zealand final. I am. I'm making. Yeah, a I'm. I'm changing my thing as well because I can. I at the moment I think Ireland peaked too early. I think um, yeah, fatigue is definitely they. They haven't changed the team really. Five weeks straight or yeah. Playing okay, six weeks straight. Yeah. If you count the round of sixteen, you playing New Zealand, you playing Scotland. You've got a week. Is it a week off, or is it, you go straight a into week, it? Week, week. Yeah, so a week off. So it's not even not a week really, off. They just they got seven days. Yeah. Yeah, they've got seven days, so it's not really a week off. So you play. You've just played. Who who they played? Before this. Oh yeah, they played South Africa. They've had their break. Now they play Scotland. So this is like a quarterfinal. Then they've got New Zealand, which is the quarterfinal. I don't know if they can really um, keep up this high tempo, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see because New Zealand are really coming into their own. And I, I did say I want to play New Zealand in the round of 16, yeah, but I think um, I'm going to change that. I'd rather play France at this moment and meet yeah. New Zealand in the final, I, mean, I guess, because yeah, it's New Zealand. Uh, I always fear New Zealand because of what they did in New Zealand in those first 20 minutes when South Africa, when we played them in New Zealand, you remember those first 20 minutes, it was 17-0. Exactly. And we couldn't, we couldn't exactly. get a touch of the, we couldn't get a touch of the ball because that, that's how good they were that, that day. So that's always in the back of my mind, although we beat them quite comfortably in Twickenham, at Twickenham. Yeah, it's going to be um, interesting to see what happens um, with Ireland, New Zealand going forward. Okay, so Argentina, yeah. Chile, 59-5. I guess that's sort of what that's we expect. expected. Yeah. So we I sort of move. I have to say I'm impressed by how Chile is actually like doing better than expected. Mm. I think the more they play, as people have been saying, you know, quality teams, you know, you you to be the best, you have to play the best. And obviously, the more you play <laughs> better people and better better teams, I guess, the better you get. Um, yeah, but that was that was the first ever um, South American final, eh? Achmed final, um, rugby World Cup match. The South American only. Yeah. Rugby so match. It, hopefully, Chile, you know, this ignites something in there where they can develop their um, rugby culture, sort of, with Chile, Uruguay, Argentina. I don't think anyone else from there is in the World Cup, but yeah, be cool to see how that grows in the next few years yeah um fiji georgia 17 12 
this this is the the Georgia that I saw coming in, you know, decent team and yeah, really pushing Fiji to the to their limits, <laughs> not limits, but <laughs> but yeah, really. To the end. To the I end. think yeah, I think that Fiji could have been tired from Australia's game. That's the one thing that we need to take into account. The other is that I felt Fiji were more dominant. The scoreline doesn't really tell the true story of the game, mm. but it was a tight game nonetheless. But I'm happy for Fiji, yeah. goodness. I yeah. watched that game and it was like, I really hoped that Fiji could win this. Because, because now they only need one point and then they're through. Yeah. But I, was, I remember I saw the game and it was 9-0 to Georgia, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And I was like, oh, are Fiji feeling, you know, the pressure of expectation like Argentina did? And are they feeling that pressure? That could of, be another thing, eh? Of being expected to win, you know? It's different when you're not expected to win and you pull one out of the hat. It's much easier. But when you're yeah. expected to win and and it comes down to that. So, yeah, well done, Fiji, I guess, in the end. And then Scotland, Romania. Did you Romania, see that the one... Oh, Did you, you see wanna... that the one Fiji, the Fiji one Fiji player, his um his boy passed away, and he yeah. is still playing, yeah, and he's still playing Portugal. Yo. Oh good. no, the court of I'm not I'm not sure, but I'm, he's, he's not going back to to attend the funeral, which is some some commitment. Yes, yeah, I don't know, it's crazy. Where where did you say from again? From sorry. Fiji. Where do you say he's from again? Fiji. Fiji, yeah, the Fiji. Fiji. One Fiji. Yeah. Hey, check. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Scotland, Romania, 84 no. I guess, routine. It's just how many yeah. they're going to put against uh, Romania at the end. Um, anything to say on that? Or It's just that they put more points on Romania than South Africa could, which is interesting. Uh, I, actually I, can thought give it would you, be a... I can give you a reason why. Um, in the South Africa game, it did rain for like 20 minutes and that made it a lot more difficult with the handling and yeah, stuff. That's a good point. I do remember that in the good game. Point, John. We... Yeah, I know. I remember that because we went a bit flat when the rain came and then when it dried up in the thing, we sort of kicked back in. So that little factor did play a, a role and Scotland had a fairly dry... <laughs> dried could, yeah. pitch and stuff so it does help with handling so yeah that could so, explain this score point, yeah. yeah um australia portugal 34 14 eddie got a win i guess you yeah, know nah, it was a good win we should be beating portugal uh, yeah <laughs> but but how do you i mean for large portion of the game that tank game was so sort of in it was 29 17 at a point, and I th- and Portugal had two tries disallowed, so at that stage Portugal could have been in front, yeah. And and if you're Australia, you're playing you should against be Portugal, yeah, you yeah. should be at least putting so, 50 against Portugal, at least. And it's just funny, it's either Portugal is very strong, which I believe they are, but surely. A team like not Australia, as Australia. Australia, a few months ago, they almost won the Bladders Low. Let's not forget that. Exactly. You yeah, know? So something has happened in that in that team team room from Australia that really is bringing their confidence. Yeah. Um, are you ready to go into the, the final game of the weekend? South Africa versus yep. Tonga. That was a real physical <clears throat> battle. And yeah, Tonga did play really well though, I'm not gonna lie. Some of the tries they Tonga scored good. and yeah. yeah. Tonga have a few ex New Zealand players in their squad and and Australia. One and Australia. And you, you can't stop Big Ben that close to the line. Poor old Did you see, like, did you see Jaden also try to tackle him? Yeah, but he was just run over. <laughs> I must, I must say, Dion Ferri, the 37 year old who's like not the biggest guy, actually stood his ground the one time that guy came around the corner. I was like, yes, that must be yeah. one of the biggest nightmares ever. So Tonga played very well. And I think yeah. our defense actually performed well as well. Yeah. I'm happy with that scoreline. 
I think it's yeah. good. Hey, you know who's back as well? Vili Butterfingers Who? Guru is back. Did you? <laughs> Can you hear me? Are you? Are you? Uh, are so you yeah, I mean, the Mampimpi injury. That's. But. What about the, the... Mampimpi injury? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's really a blow to the box. Yeah, but I mean, we've got a we've got a superstar coming back into the team. I see. Look on your arms back in the back in the squad. We've got our our World Cup winners are slowly coming back in, eh? Yeah. Do you think? I think that's a, plus, a part of the plan again. You can't tell me. Listen to this. Listen to me again. My pimpy. Even even... getting like a t- <laughs> Are you, him are getting you, like a, a tiny a tiny hit that wasn't even that hard come on that, guy, you, you see, you don't that see guy's face. backstory did you no, not see his, seen face? his face but his face was swollen you, dude if a guy if the pond can play with a mask i promise you my pimpy can play with like a broken neck that guy is harder than <laughs> harder than i don't, I don't know what but eh? <laughs> harder than the rock yeah Oh, the rock. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, so, it's, yeah. it's, um, it's it's yeah. it's good. It's a good conspiracy, but I, I no, but shame the poor guy. I really hope he recovers well. Um, it, it could have been bad, you know. Breaking your jaw is it's not nice. Yeah, he's got a few fractures on there. So yeah, and his face looked yes, it was swollen. It was yeah, it's quite bad. But yeah, I was I was telling you, Vili Vili Larue. Did you see mm-hmm. he dropped some balls and he, he wasn't having a good game until he scored his try, eh? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know about try. you, was... but yeah, he looked a bit... Uh, I think I think that's Damien's starting place now, is at 15. Mm. And, I mean, yeah, probably. I think I think Valise is going to just be like, what a... <laughs> he's what a there boy. for the chats <laughs> and just bring, like pick up the confidence and back the boykies, but yeah. uh, Damien uh... secured his spot. Yeah, yeah. It's a, so, it a good try by Vili. Showed a lot of strength there. I was about that in a good catch. Finally, like the most difficult catch he actually caught. Um, yeah. <laughs> and what do you think about what do you think about Dion Farid and his man of a match performance? That's good. I guess that's a good confidence builder um, for him to come in, play. How much? How much? What time did Van Staden come on? He came on in the second half. And... But when Fostano came on, he, they didn't swap him, right? They only still stayed on. That was the, oh, okay. that was something that was very strange to me because Dion stayed on, yeah. Fostano came on, and then Fostano was throwing in, in the lineouts. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, no, see, I think he Which... moves to flank after that, Dion. Um, uh, is it? And then, I don't know, I can't remember. Can you remember? <laughs> I can't remember who moved into the scrum. It's... Um, it's just so weird. How do you like now? You have to play two positions in one game. That's I like, mean, he's, that's some... he's probably used to it. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, well I mean, he made some good steals, which I found very good. And um, the other thing I need to mention about this game is how well, well I enjoyed the ref. I felt like it could have gone two red cards very easily with even Elizabeth and. My pimpy's injury. They were probably more the yellows. Was... They were probably more yellows than red. But from what we've seen, it could have easily been, as you said, red cards. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Exactly. But I mean, I I prefer that. I think nothing was intentional or malicious there. Um, I just saw Jasper Visa with like a bloody nose and I knew that game is very, 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 very tough. I mean, he looks like a guy who loves a good scrap though, you know? Uh, yeah. yeah, he's the, For sure. probably have CT in a few years time as well. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I guess that's um, all the games for the past two weeks um, that we have covered now. And then if you have any Anything to say no. about players coming back? No, I've seen, seen New Zealand have Shannon Frizzell back in. Tyrell Lomas yes. is back. So I, I I think they're coming up and they're probably going to peak at the right time. And 
let's not forget the last World Cup, right? South Africa, we played New Zealand. New Zealand were obvious favourites for that World Cup. And they fell short. I don't know if they were obvious favourites, but they were favourites because it's New Zealand. And they beat us in the pool stage. We made it to the final and they didn't. Um, and then Ireland the week before, I mean, England the week before that played New Zealand and they played their game of their life against New Zealand. And yeah, the box just came to the final and played their game of their life in that final. So yeah, it's yeah. it's not who's playing the best right now, I think. It's, it's who's going to be playing the best when it counts kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah, Absolutely. it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Um but yeah, we'll we'll speak about the the games coming up in the last round of fixtures in our next video, eh? <laughs> we all good for now. Yeah, definitely. All we good, all good for now, guys. Okay, guys. So we'll see you next time. Cheers, eh? Thanks for watching. For more great content, please like, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to keep up to date with our uploads.